Hey guys, welcome to the sixth and final video in a series of six videos where we look at the key definitions that you need to know for the higher physics exam. In this video, we cover the definitions for the second half of the particles and waves topic, and I'd recommend that you make your own flashcards from these definitions. You can do this by writing down the word or term on one side and the definition or the meaning on the other side. So let's get into it. Our first definition when talking about waves is for coherence, and this is when two or more waves have the same frequency, wavelength and speed. But more importantly, waves are said to be coherent if they have a constant phase relationship. And remember phase in terms of waves just refers to how in tune two waves are. Interference is our next one, and this is observed when coherent waves overlap. Interference provides evidence for the wave model of light, just like the photoelectric effect provides evidence for the particle model of light. Next we have construct of interference, which says that when two waves of equal amplitude meet in phase, they combine to form a wave of twice the amplitude. And construct of interference will occur when a crest of one wave meets a crest of another wave, or when a trough of one wave meets a trough from another wave. Moving on we have destructive interference, which says that when two waves of equal amplitude meet out of phase, they combine to form a wave of zero amplitude. And destructive interference occurs when a crest of one wave meets a trough of another wave. Our next one is refraction, which was seen in National 5, and this is the change in speed of light as it passes from one medium, i.e. material, to another, for example from air to glass, and remember that the light will often change direction, but not always. Next we have absolute refractive index, or sometimes just shortened to refractive index, which is a number greater than or equal to 1, which indicates a material's ability to refract light. The maximum number that exists for absolute refractive index is for that of diamond, which is at 2.43. And the rule is that the greater the number, the greater the material's ability to refract light. Absolute refractive index can also be defined, however, as the ratio of the speed of light in a vacuum to the speed of light in the medium. And this comes from the equation n equals v1 over v2, which is on the relationship sheet. Moving on we have critical angle, and this is the angle of instance which produces an angle of refraction of 90 degrees. Lastly, related to the critical angle is total internal reflection, and this occurs when the angle of instance is greater than the critical angle. When this happens, all the light is reflected inside the denser medium, that is, no light escapes from the medium. And at this point the light is said to be totally internally reflected, just like what happens in a fibre optic cable. That's all for this video folks, I hope you found it useful. If you did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.